Xavier Herbert's novel, Poor Fellow My Country, is a vast and intricate literary work that portrays the complexities of Australian society, politics, and history. The novel is a powerful representation of the Australian landscape and the clash of cultures that occurred between indigenous and European settlers. The novel follows the life of two main characters, Prindy and Fulford, and their families. Prindy, a mixed-race Aboriginal man, lives in the Northern Territory and is passionate about protecting his land from European invaders. Fulford, on the other hand, is an ambitious and ruthless businessman who strives to gain power and wealth through exploiting the land and its resources. Throughout the novel, Herbert presents a critical analysis of Australian society and its history. He highlights the brutal treatment of indigenous Australians by European settlers, which resulted in widespread displacement, violence, and dispossession. Herbert also critiques the capitalist and colonialist ideologies that drove Australia's development and caused severe social and environmental damage. One of the central themes in the novel is the relationship between humans and the natural environment. Herbert portrays the land as a character in its own right, with its own voice and history. The novel explores the ecological consequences of human activity, such as deforestation, soil erosion, and the loss of biodiversity. Herbert also portrays the impact of climate change on the environment, as he describes droughts, floods, and bushfires that devastate the land and its inhabitants. Herbert's depiction of the Australian landscape is vivid and detailed, and he draws on his own experiences of living and working in the Northern Territory. He describes the flora and fauna of the region with a sense of wonder and admiration, but also portrays the destructive impact of human activity on these ecosystems. The novel also explores the cultural significance of the land to indigenous Australians and the spiritual connection they have with the natural world. Another significant theme in the novel is the struggle for power and control. The characters in the novel are driven by a desire for wealth, status, and influence, which leads to conflicts and violence. Fulford, the main antagonist, represents the capitalist and colonialist ideologies that dominated Australian society in the early 20th century. He uses his wealth and influence to gain political power and control over the land, often at the expense of indigenous Australians and the environment. Prindy, on the other hand, represents the resistance against these oppressive forces. He is a strong and resilient character who fights for his land and his people, even in the face of overwhelming odds. Prindy's character represents the resilience and endurance of indigenous Australians in the face of centuries of colonization and oppression. Herbert's novel is also a critique of Australian national identity and its relation to colonialism. He highlights the contradictions and tensions within Australian society, which has been built on a history of violence and dispossession. The novel challenges the myth of the fair go and the idea that Australia is a land of equal opportunity for all. In conclusion, Poor Fellow My Country is a complex and thought-provoking novel that explores the ecological, social, and political issues that have shaped Australian history. Herbert's vivid portrayal of the Australian landscape, his critique of colonialism and capitalism, and his representation of indigenous resistance make this novel an important contribution to Australian literature. 
The novel challenges readers to reconsider their understanding of Australian identity and history, and to reflect on the ongoing struggles for social and environmental justice.